Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general energy reading for the month of June of 2021. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So please remember, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And even though this is a message that's labeled for June, this is just the moment when that message is coming through for you. This can resonate for you at any time, okay? It doesn't have to just be in the month of June. Also, it's a general energy reading, so we're talking about anything that comes up here. So no topic is off the table, yeah? Um, I hope you guys are doing well, uh, and I hope you guys have a good birthday season and all that good stuff, yes? Okay. Um, I don't really have anything else to say other to, to begin, so let's just dive into your pre-shuffle energies. So Gemini, it's looking like either you or someone around you um, although I do feel like this is you, Gemini, um, but of course it could be anything. It could be the other, another person that you're connected with, or it could be you, but it feels like somebody here has really come to a sense of balance and personal victory here. And it's looking like they're about to get started to take a leap of faith and, or, or get started on something brand new, take a leap of faith to move in a direction that it feels like they've never really gone in before. I feel like somebody here has really matured to a level where they are now about to put certain boundaries in place. But let me show you the cards you have in your pre in your pre shuffle so far. You do have the Temperance to the Six of Wands to the Nine of Swords. Now, Temperance to the Six of Wands is a very excellent energy. In this situation, Gemini, it's feeling like you or whomever this reading is is for. Um, you've reached a sense of balance and that's the personal victory that you seem to be experiencing here. There's a sense of level hand headedness or understanding. I just heard understanding what the outcome is, which is interesting. Um, I'm not sure how that resonates, but take it as it resonates, right? Um, if that makes sense to you, then take it. But um, just understanding the outcome, understand, willingness to understand or willingness to see what's really going on around you. And that has created um, a sense of, of balance here, of greater balance in your life. And that's obviously creating a personal victory, temperance and the six of wands. And yet the nine of swords is coming through with that as well, which at first was a little difficult for me to understand. But then once I saw the rest of the cards, I was like, oh, I get it. I get it now because it's this new sense of balance here, internal balance, that is, yes, creating a victory, but it's that reality, it's what you need to do in relation to that sense of balance that you've found in your, in your life now that's causing this anxiety, okay? Let's move forward here. The last three cards that you have as your, as your, uh, your um, pre-shuffle energy here, you have the Seven of Swords to the Emperor and the King of Swords. So it feels like, Gemini, this sense of balance that you've come into recently has put you in a position to be see very clearly the deceptive energies that are around you or maybe the deceptive tendencies maybe that you have been expressing or that other people are expressing or some sort of deceptive situation. Um, and this is why with this new sense of balance and understanding here, you also have a, a personal victory on top of, or you have a personal victory, but with some anxiety on top of it. Because now this is the type of situation in which it feels like you've woken up to something and now you have to do something about it. Or you've become aware of something, you, you gain the information that you need, and now you're at a position where you have to do something about it. And that's what I see happening here with the emperor and the King of Swords. The King of Swords is representing clarity. I do I do feel like this is representing either you, Gemini, or the individual that is in question here. Maybe you're dealing with an uh, with an Aquarius, but I'm not getting I'm not getting so much of that right now. It either feels like the King of Swords represents you, Gemini, or it represents the person that is in this uh, per place or position of personal power. Now. With you seeing clearly exactly the deception that's around you, there are some boundaries that are going to need to be put in place in relation to that. And that's where this anxiety is, I feel, is coming from here, Nine of Swords. What's going to happen or what you need to do or how you need to set the record straight and with whom. That's what's causing you trouble. And and, and, and you do have the fool to the world at the bottom of the deck. So what the fool is saying here for you, Gemini, is, or Crosswatcher, 
But what this is saying for whomever this individual is that's in this position, you're about to take a leap of faith in a direction that you've never gone in before. So this kind of feels like, for example, and maybe this is exactly what it is for you, or maybe not, maybe this is just figurative, but take it as it resonates again. But what this feels like here is like, say for example, you have a group of friends or a social environment, or maybe just this, your family environment or whatever, but you have a group of people that you are familiar with, that you've been around for a long time, you've been a part of the family, or you've been, a, you are a part of the family or you've been a part of this group or this community for a while and now as you've been going through your growth and ascension process your balancing and healing process you're starting to become aware of certain deceptive elements of the situation that no longer that you can no longer accept in your life and it feels like a, a a leap of faith or a radical change in direction because this is never this was never the person that you were in the past maybe it kind of feels like this was an energy of maybe you being in that situation rolling with those people or with those energies right along with them whatever this deception is but now it seems that you've matured or you've grown you've grown up or you've come to a sense of balance here and you see the situation much clearer than you have in the past and now you have to do something about it but it's radically different from who you were in the past and that's giving you the anxiety to say oh my god what is this what's going to happen what's going to come of this blah 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 um but ultimately overall i do feel like this is a very very good thing for you gemini but yes it could be providing or putting in a situ uh, I don't, it could be catalyzing a, a massive change there could be it's it's almost feels like it's a change in alignment not necessarily within well yeah it within yourself but that change in alignment has already shifted has already happened and now there's a change in alignment or um what's the word i'm looking for allegiance there's a change in allegiance that's happening with the people or the circumstances around you and that's kind of even though this is a personal victory for you there's kind of a doomsday energy of like what the hell is going to happen moving forward here okay um next two cards that have come out in your pre-shuffle you have uh, judgment and the sun but they both come out in reverse but this is just your blockage this is what the anxiety and the fear is creating in your life um you're not seeing clearly i really do feel like ultimately no matter what's about to happen here for you yeah don't give up because whatever is about to happen here for you gemini it's for your best it's for your highest good and you just don't see that right now okay okay gemini let's reset here and we're i'm gonna give this five shuffles and we'll see what other messages we have for you this month yeah cool let's get into this here all right, I'm going to give this five shuffles. One. Um, what just came out this time was the Three of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Um, what I'm hearing with that, Gemini, is that you are justified, you're activated, you're moving forward in your path. This is two. Um, in, a very, in a very authentic way, and I really feel like you need to hear that right now. Um, because there could be some judgment from others that you could be facing here. This is three. Um, but that's their own opinion. That's their own thought process. That doesn't really reflect who you are or where you are right now. Okay. This is four. Four of my Geminis. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of June 2021. And this is five. All right, Gemini. Let's cut the deck here. All right, overall energy, you have the Ace of Pentacles. I like this. And what I'm hearing for the Ace of Pentacles for you, Gemini, is a brand new start, okay? A new lease on life, a new opportunity to make things better for yourself. Um, some of you may have new business ideas, or at least you're in a mindset now that will lead you towards better employment is what I'm hearing. Um, and part of, part of, the opposition that's coming from some others around you is that you've gone through... Ooh, hold on, guys. Okay, so sorry about that, Gemini. Um, but I have some... I just I have some things that needed to be handled in the moment, so I... So, sorry about that. Sorry for the interruptions, but we're going to continue here. We're going to pick up where we left off. I do want to light some Palo Santo just to reset and clear the energies, make sure nothing else is interfering with your reading right now. Okay, Gemini? So here we go. Okay, so um, like I was saying, 
Overall energy here, you have the Page of Pentacles, and I do feel like for some of you, this absolutely is translating into a new source of income for you, um, a, a new, what's the word? I, I, I just heard a new outline, um, a, new, I, a new outline, which I guess would translate, which kind of makes sense because there's a new framework of opportunity for you. So a new outline could represent maybe like even a new path for you or just a new beginning, a new financial reality, a new financial start, or just a new physical start here. You have the Ace of Pentacles. Underneath the Ace of Pentacles is the Ace of Swords, okay? But then underneath the Ace of Swords, you do have the, the Page of Swords, which in this in, in the Tarot, I think would represent you. I see the pages and the um, the knights as the mutable signs, and so and when it comes to air, that's Gemini. So this is you here, and then all uh, finally at the bottom of the deck, you do have the seven of cups. So honestly, Gemini, I feel like this is all you here. I feel like you're very mentally clear, okay, um, and you're using this page of swords energy, this seeker type energy to really cut through all of the illusions in your life right now, all right? This is your overall energy, and this is what I feel like is setting you up for this next cycle, this new phase, whatever this is for you, okay, Gemini? I really do like this for you. However, I do understand the fear, the apprehension, or the... Um, the mental turmoil that could come of it because for a lot of you this does feel like it's a drastic change from who you were in the past but what the biggest change here in terms of this for you gemini is a maturity level okay being able to see things clearly being able to create a new opportunity for yourself um because of the clarity and the understanding and the truth that you've gained or received all right Let's get into the first half of your reading here, Gemini. First set of surrounding energies. There's that temperance again. This is a major aspect to your energy, to the energies of your life right now. There is such a strong level of inner balance that has been struck or stricken in your life at this moment. Um, that is the driving force. That is the carrying force of this situation for you right now. That's a really, really beautiful thing. It definitely feels like for some of you here, you've been able to marry or, or blend or combine your masculine, your feminine, your dark, your light, your good, your bad, your, your light aspects and your shadow aspects. It, it, there's, it feels like you know, and maybe Gemini is the sign of the twins, right? And it could have been a situation in which you were at odds with yourself, very much at odds with yourself. But something has happened here to bring these two sides, these two opposing sides of yourself together to create a better harmony or union within yourself. And that's where all of this change and insight and new direction is stemming from for you right now, Gemini. It's really beautiful. I really encourage you to take as full of advantage of this as you possibly can and not necessarily worry about what that's going to mean for others because as you ascend as you change you're going to go in different directions and there that you have to allow people to stay where they are if that's where they choose to be you can't pull them with you kicking and screaming right okay so but I'll always understand that whatever choices that you make for yourself um as long as they're in line with your highest good and maybe even the highest good for others like it could be a situation in which you need to remove yourself from a certain um I wanted to say energetic vibration, but then that's in relation to the people around you. So like a, a certain group dynamic or whatever, if you need to remove yourself for that, number one, that would be in your highest good most likely, but also it would most likely be in the highest good for others as well, okay, for whatever reason. I mean, they're going to need to go through their own process just like you did, right? But you can't do it for them and you can't push them towards that. They have to want to do that themselves, okay? Ultimately, this is all going to work out for the best involved for everybody. Temperance is coupled with the Four of Swords, okay? Um, settle into the awareness or the, yeah, settle into the awareness um, that you are at a much more balanced state in your life, okay? So when you need to, fall back on this sense of stability and foundation and uh, uh, I just heard ability to see things clearly, okay? Allow yourself to settle into this newfound balance that you gained in your life, okay? All is going to be well. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini, in the first half of your reading, you have, ah, there's the Five of Swords. Uh, but I honestly, Gemini, I feel like this Five of Swords energy is coming from other people. 
okay? It's coming from the influences around you that, or that have been around you that you are now trying to get away from. Uh, what's coming through with the Five of Swords also is an energy of pick your battles wisely. Um, and I do, I feel like you've already done that in terms of coming to an understanding of what you need to just separate yourself from. And I don't feel like this is um, an energy of trying to fight about it or trying to prove you're right or trying to, you know, whatever. I just feel like you've come to a, a decision internally where it's like, okay, I need to pull away from this now because this is a lose-lose situation, okay? Five of Swords is coupled with the Nine of Pentacles. So this is really this is really beautiful. It feels like, Gemini, you come to a point of view or you've come to a point in your life where you can stand alone. You can stand uh, independent of whatever energies are happening or whatever energies are around you. And that's what's causing you to decide or to understand or to figure out that what's best for you right now is to pull yourself away from this Five of Swords energy. You're no longer a victim of or a slave to whatever communal aspect has been a part of your life up until now. You are, you are now in the position where you see yourself very clearly, clearly defined um, outside of the collective or outside of this group situation or whatever this is for you. You have a, you, it's like you have a clear delineation of who you are versus who they are. And now you can, you have the ability or the foundation or the sense of balance within you to stand against that and to walk away from that should you f feel it's right. And it does feel like it's the right thing for you right now, Gemini, okay? Your challenge in the first half of your reading. Ah, the star taking a leap of faith. Well, okay, not a leap of faith. I mean, you can kind of say it's a leap of faith, but like technically that's the fool. Here, your challenge is just having faith, okay? You know, or you can sense that you're moving in a specific direction or that you want to move in a specific direction. Um, and you may know why you want to move in that direction, but you don't necessarily know how you're going to get there or what's going to happen on the way there. Don't worry about it. And that's what I feel like was part of the issue in the pre-shuffle for you. It's like, yes, you have a sense of balance and harmony and union within, but now you know that there are certain things that you are going to have to do in order to continue to facilitate that balance in your life. And some of you are kind of freaking out about that because you don't know exactly what that's going to entail. What's that going to mean for certain people around you? Or what's that going to mean for certain relationships around you? Don't worry about that. Just continue to focus on this balance that you have within you and expressing that in the best way possible because ultimately that's leading you towards wish fulfillment here, okay? You just have to have faith in the process. That's your challenge in the first half of this situation, okay? You, uh, the star is coupled with, oh, beautiful Gemini, the Ten of Swords, okay? It's leading you towards not only just the ending of these situations, but the completion, wrapping it all up. All right. But you have to have faith. You have to have faith in the guidance that you're receiving in your intuition, into universe, that kind of stuff. Right. OK, your closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading, Gemini, the shadow side or the devil. Now, OK, so for some of you, this kind of feels like or I'm not screw for screw the energy of for some of you. If you're resonating with this reading, then this feels relevant to the situation right now. But it's almost as if you are, this is like the final test. The last charade, the final showdown between you and some sort of toxic, codependent, devilish energy. Low vibrational, confining, constricting type of energy. Okay. It's like the final boss before you really move on, before this, before all of this is really completed here. And what, the, what it feels like here is this final boss is going to require, or defeating, we'll say, defeating this final boss is going to require you using the truth and the knowledge that and understanding that you've come to. Ace of Swords is in the overall energy for you. It's like you're going to need to take what it is you've learned or the balance it is that you've stricken within your life and use that to your advantage or use that to put the final nail in the coffin of ending these this toxic or codependent or devil like whatever this devil represents for you, okay? Uh, the shadow side or the devil is coupled with, there you go, 
What did I just say, Gemini? There it is, the Six of Wands. There's the victory again. You are at the final face-off here, okay? And as long as you use the balance that you've come to within your life and the wisdom, the truth, the knowledge, the understanding that you've also gained in throughout this cycle or this experience for you, whatever this is for you, the more victorious you will be, okay? Don't be afraid to use your experience and use the knowledge and the and wisdom gained from that experience to your benefit. I mean, it. why wouldn't you? <laughs> it's yours. You gained it. You learned the lesson. You went through the experience. Why aren't you allowed to use that to your advantage? There could be some people around you that are trying to 1111, that are trying to say to you, oh, that's bullshit. Oh, you're just selfish, this, that, and the third, like blah, blah, blah. But it's like, look, I'm, I'm the one that learned the lesson here. I'm the one that's found the balance here. Why should I feel bad for using that to my advantage? There's absolutely no reason why you should. Just saying. All right, Gemini. Let's get into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies for you. Starting you off real strong with the Six of Swords. And I really do feel like, you see how in this deck, it's only one person in this boat? Fortunately. I am going to say fortunately here, Gemini. At first, it, the first thing I heard was, and maybe that was your reaction, because once I pointed out that there was only one person in this boat, I heard unfortunately. And, it, and, and it's not. Actually, it's for your own good. Okay, but this is you moving forward independently, not alone. I'm not going to say alone, independently. Okay, this is you making the decision of what's best for you and saying, I just need to get out of here or I have got to remove myself from these energies. And it's the best thing that you could be doing for yourself right now. Do not allow anybody to get in your way and say, oh, no, you can't do that. Oh, yeah. Watch me. Six of Swords is coupled with. There you go the ace of wands gemini all right so look you're inspired you're guided you're moving in the right direction follow through with this this is more than just eight of cups type of energy of you know walking away from something that's been long standing or just like throwing in the towel this is actually with this six of swords here what this feels like is removing yourself from the situation picking your battles wisely okay you're going here in the second uh, in the first half of your reading second set of surrounding energies you had the five of swords and the nine of uh, the nine of pentacles excuse me and this was the moment where i saw for you that you were standing on your own in direct opposition to whatever this five of swords energy is this lose lose energy okay you have the chance, you have you having the ability to step out of that drama and to see it for what it truly is and think for yourself. Come to your own conclusions in terms of that, right? So from there, the first thing that we get into in the second half of your reading is you following through with that. Moving from the five of the swords to six of swords with the ace of wands uh, a clarifying or coupling with that. You are inspired. You are feeling driven to move in a different direction that's going to take you out of some really tough, unnecessarily tough circumstances. And you have every right to do that, Gemini. Every right. Second set of surrounding energies for you in the second half of your reading, you have the Two of Swords. There's a, it, okay, there's a bit of indecisiveness here. Some of you are, I, I just heard that some of you are refusing to make a decision, but I don't necessarily want to say it that way because what I feel here is you're having a really tough time making a decision. There are people or places or circumstances, maybe even jobs, affiliations, whatever, that were once really dear to you. I get that. But now you're facing the reality of having to move on from them and you just don't know what to do. I just heard panic stricken again. Okay. Two of swords is coupled with Gemini, the 10 of pentacles. What I was going, what I was just about to say in terms of the two of swords was instead of focusing on the external represent, representation of this situation for you, um, i.e., uh, 
the, the the affiliations, the good times, the bond that may have, you may have had, that all of that kind of stuff. You have to look at this from an internal point of view. And what I feel very strongly, Gemini, is that internally you are being guided to end this situation, to bring this to a close, to close out this cycle. It is about time for you to graduate, to complete this, okay? Because you do have the potential for new opportunity crowning you ace of swords ace of pentacles but in order for you to take advantage of that you're going to need to close out the previous cycle okay your challenge here in the second half of your reading gemini is the wheel of fortune which is a good thing okay you're on the precipice of great change for you all right but this is, like I said, in the beginning of the reading, this feels radical. This is like radically different to, to the person that you used to be. But that really doesn't mean anything other than the fact that you have successfully gone through a, a, a phase of change, which is natural, which is quite frankly what we're supposed to be doing here. We're, we didn't come down here, in, incarnate into this life to remain one type, one individual, one person for the span of our lifetime we're meant to experience learn and grow from those experiences which ultimately means we change over time and you've successfully gone through a period of cycle that is obviously representing change for the better for you here gemini okay so you don't have to run from this you don't have to be afraid the wheel of fortune is coupled with the three of cups there's that representation of the community maybe even of a hive mind mentality I mean, to be honest, the Ten of Pentacles could also represent that community as well. But now this is really, this is the best representation of it. Because with the Three of Cups, this can either be a celebration or like-minded people coming together or finding soulmates. But then on the negative side of it, it can be a hive mind mentality. It can be a negative uh, uh, social affiliations, low vibrational social aff affiliations. And unfortunately, given what we've been talking about here, Gemini, I feel like this is representing some sort of lower vibrational aff affiliations that you that is changing. And the reason why this is changing, Gemini, is because your alignment has changed. Your vibration has changed. You've become much wiser. You've become much more balanced. You have an, you have an ability to stand on your own and think for yourself in a much more beneficial way or even in a much stronger way than you ever have in the past so that's why this is changing that's why your affiliations here whether this just be social familial or or professional your affiliations are changing because your vibration has changed for the better okay and it's serving your highest potential your highest good gemini you have to keep that in mind okay closing message or potential outcome for you here the fool. There you go. There's the leap of faith right there. There's nothing else to say. I, I mean, there's no other, nothing else for me to say, Gemini. The leap of faith is here, is ready for you to take it. This is you either taking the leap of faith or needing to, okay? It's time to jump on out there, honey. The fool is coupled with, ah, the Hermit. Okay, and one last card too. The King of Pentacles. Now, um, I will say, this is a, this is a minor detail, but um, I, I, it's coming to mind, so I am going to mention it. This month, the month of June 2021, we have a new moon solar eclipse that is happening in the sign of Gemini in terms of sidereal astrology and that's what i that's what i practice uh when uh, in my astrological studies i don't um practice mainstream or tropical i practice sidereal astrology and in that system we have this new moon solar eclipse in taurus and new moons are all about um uh, uh new cycles a time of great change here in this situation specifically especially with it being in taurus i feel like it's a time where we can start to really put implement some new structures or some new ways of being into our lives 
Um, for your closing message or potential outcome here, Gemini, you have the Fool with the Hermit and the King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles is representing, in some cases, if that resonates for you, the, the King of Pentacles is representing the time frame of this new moon solar eclipse in Taurus, where you can really put into practice a lot of the new understandings that you've come to in your life. But also what the King of Pentacles is representing here for you, Gemini, is the fact that you're ready to take a leap of faith because of what it is you learned about yourself or the soul searching or the inner work that you have done that has brought you into a much stable, much more stable and much more beneficial alignment with who you truly are. There is a level of understanding yourself on a much more stable level on a much more um, aware level. It's like you know yourself way better now than you ever have. And in some cases, for some of you, you know yourself way better than anyone else around you in these, these circles that you're needing to move on from way better than they know themselves and you know yourself way better than they know you. Because at this point, it's like they don't even know you any longer. And I know that sounds, that sounds horrible. Okay, but at the same time, it's not because the only reason that they know they that you, they don't know you any longer is because you have gone within and figured yourself out on a much more intimate level. You've gotten down to deeper aspects of yourself that you were never aware of in the past or maybe that you've been pushing away and now you've cleared that up. You've come to a deeper sense of balance and harmony and union within yourself and now you're a completely different person. You've changed and that's natural. Okay. <sighs> All right, Gemini, let's get your closing oracle guidance here. And I'm actually wanting to get that from the Moonology deck for you here. All right, so let's do that. Five shuffles. One. Two. Three. Four, and five. All right. Closing Oracle Guidance for you, Gemini. What Closing Oracle Guidance do we have for my Gemini's please, spirit? Closing Oracle Message for my Gemini's please, spirit. For the month of June 2021, or just this message. For this message, what closing message do you have? One card and one card only. And it's all we really need. Full moon in Scorpio. It's time to release negativity, Gemini. And I just heard you're long overdue for this, okay? All right, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of July. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye! <laughs>